Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. Echoes of the Forgotten, a tale from the Vale Vault. Holly had always been fascinated by the mystery surrounding the old spy church on the Isle of Wight. Its crumbling walls whispered tales of forgotten rituals and arcane secrets. Little did she know that her curiosity would lead her to the heart of a nightmare lurking within the Vale Vault of vanishing visions. As the curator of the church's newest exhibit, Holly felt a mix of excitement and trepidation. The artifacts within the vault held a power beyond her understanding the ability to erase memories. Visitors would enter the vault, experience vanishing visions, and leave with crucial aspects of their lives stripped away. The first few days of the exhibit were a success, drawing crowds of eager thrill-seekers and curious historians. But as Holly watched the visitors' reactions, a sense of unease gnawed at her. Their eyes held a vacant stare, their voices hollow echoes of their former selves. One evening, as Holly was locking up the exhibit, she noticed a figure lingering by the entrance to the vault. It was a young woman, her expression haunted and lost. Concerned, Holly approached her. Are you all right? Holly asked, her voice tinged with worry. The woman turned to her, her eyes wide with fear. I don't. I don't remember, she whispered, her voice trembling. I went in there, and now, now everything is gone. Holly's heart sank as she realized the extent of the vault's power. She had been warned of the dangers, but she had never imagined the true horror of what lay within. Determined to uncover the truth, Holly delved deeper into the history of the Aspire Church and its mysterious vault. She discovered tales of a cult that had once inhabited the church, practicing dark rituals to harness the power of forgotten memories. As Holly unearthed more secrets, she felt a darkness closing in around her. Strange occurrences plagued her every step whispers in the dark, fleeting shadows at the edge of her vision. And with each passing day, she felt herself losing grip on her own memories, as if the vault's influence was seeping into her very soul. Desperate to break free from the vault's hold, Holly sought out the help of an elderly historian who had studied the church for decades. Together, they pieced together a ritual to seal the vault once and for all, hoping to contain its malevolent power. But as they performed the ritual, a darkness stirred within the depths of the vault. Shadows writhed and twisted, lashing out with tendrils of forgotten memories. Holly and the historian fought against the encroaching darkness, their minds teetering on the brink of oblivion. In a final act of defiance, Holly hurled herself into the heart of the vault, confronting the source of its power head-on. With a burst of blinding light, the vault collapsed in on itself, sealing away its secrets for eternity. As Holly emerged from the ruins of the Aspire Church, she felt a weight lift from her shoulders. The nightmare was over, but the memories of those lost within the vault would haunt her forever. And as she gazed out at the Isle of Wight, she knew that some mysteries were best left buried in the shadows of the past. Weeks passed since the sealing of the vault, yet Holly couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingered within her. Nightmares plagued her sleep, visions of faces twisted in agony, their voices pleading for release from the void of forgotten memories. Haunted by guilt, Holly threw herself into her work, hoping to bury her fears beneath the weight of her responsibilities. But the artifacts from the vault whispered to her, their voices a constant reminder of the darkness she had unleashed. One stormy night, as Holly sat alone in her office, the air thick with tension, a knock echoed through the empty halls of the museum. Startled, Holly rose from her desk and made her way to the entrance, her heart pounding in her chest. Standing in the doorway was a figure cloaked in shadows, their features obscured by the darkness. Who's there? Holly called out, her voice trembling. The figure stepped forward, revealing the face of the young woman who had lost her memories in the vault. Her eyes were hollow, devoid of emotion. You can't hide from what you've done, Holly, she whispered, her voice a chilling echo of the past. Holly's blood ran cold as she realized the truth the darkness of the vault had found a way to escape its prison. With a sinking feeling in her chest, she knew that she was the only one who could stop it. Determined to confront the darkness head-on, Holly returned to the ruins of the Aspire Church, where the vault lay buried beneath layers of rubble and decay. But as she entered the crumbling sanctuary, she felt a presence watching her from the shadows, a malevolent force that hungered for her soul. 
With each step she took, the darkness grew stronger, its whispers growing louder until they filled her mind with the cacophony of forgotten memories. But Holly refused to succumb to its grasp. With every ounce of strength she possessed, she fought against the darkness, willing herself to remember who she was and what she stood for. In a final act of defiance, Holly reached out to the artifacts within the vault, channeling their power into a beacon of light that pierced the darkness. With a deafening roar, the darkness recoiled, its form twisting and contorting until it vanished into the void from whence it came. As the dust settled and the darkness receded, Holly emerged from the ruins of the aspired church, her spirit battered but unbroken. Though the memories of the vault would forever haunt her, she knew that she had triumphed over the darkness that threatened to consume her. And as she gazed out at the Isle of Wight, bathed in the light of the rising sun, she knew that her journey was far from over. For in the heart of every shadow, there lurked a new mystery waiting to be uncovered. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.